today we're gonna read about Daniel chapter 2 in the Bible I'm we gonna speak about how powerful God is when God dealing with people I choose tonight topic to be called the King's Dream prophecy of Daniel chapter 2 We are going to let the scripture speak for itself. This chapter span a century from Daniel to the return of Jesus Christ. It is considered to be the most remarkable prophecy in the Bible because it is the most comprehensive. It gives a consecutive history of the world from Daniel's time to the end. This chapter opened by picture when the ruler of the greatest of earthly kingdom in his own bed sleeping. Daniel 2 verse 1 said in the second year of the reign of Nebuchadnezzar Nebuchadnezzar Jim James When God give a dream, what is his purpose as expressed by Elahu? Speaking of Job, said, speaking of Job, why dost thou strive against him? For he giveth not of any account of his matters. For God speaketh once, yea, twice, yet man perceiveth not in a dream, in a vision of the night when deep sleep falleth upon men in slumbering upon the bed then he opened the ears of men and sealed their instruction that they may withdraw man from his purpose and hide pride from man Job 33 verse 13 to 17 the Lord found it difficult to reveal truth to Nebuchadnezzar in his waking moments. God revealed to the heathen king an image and thus attract his attention, making a strong impression of him. When the king awakened, what happened? The word of God said in Daniel chapter 2, verse 3 and 5. And the king said unto them, I have dreamed, I dreamed, and my spirit was troubled to know the dream. The king answered and said to the Chaldean, The things is gone from me. If you will not make known unto me the dream with the interpretation thereof, you shall be cut in pieces, and your houses shall be made a dunghill. Daniel 2, 3 and 5. How was the pretended knowledge of the so-called wise men of Babylon exposed? The king mind had been impressed. But he could not recall the dream. God gave Nebuchadnezzar a dream. He forget the detail of the dream. Yet, he retained a vivid impression of it. The king demanded of the wise men of Babylon not only an interpretation but a revelation of the dream itself. Daniel 2 verse 2 to 5. What was the reaction of the wise men of Babylon to Nebuchadnezzar's demands? And what truth did they admit? Turn with me to Daniel 2, 10 and 11. The word of God said, The Chaldean answered before the king and said, There is not a man upon the earth that can show the king's matter. Therefore there is no king nor lord nor ruler that asks such thing. At any magician or astrologer or Chaldean. And it is a rare thing that the king require it. And there is none other that can show it before.
before the king except there's an exception here the gods whose dwelling is not with flesh there's no king no lord no ruler can explain the king's dream except the god whose dwelling is not with flesh they were so right by whom was the dream and its interpretation made known to the king Daniel 2 19 then was the secret revealed unto Daniel in a night vision when Daniel blessed the God of heaven I said when Daniel blessed the God of heaven Daniel was a young man what an opportunity to witness for the true God God showed Daniel the identical vision he had given to the king Nebuchadnezzar centuries before this God has taught Egyptian senators by the mouth of a boy the same age as Daniel the story is in Psalms 105 verse 17 to 22 as Daniel stood before the king in the middle of many of his teachers the word of God in Psalm 119 verse 98 to 100 were exemplified thou through thy commandments has made me wiser than my enemies for they are ever before me Daniel is saying because I keep your commandment almighty God it allow me to be wiser than my enemies cause I keep your commandment in verse 19 99 of Psalms 119 said I have more understanding than all my teachers for thy testimonies are my meditation he meant that is meditate on God testimony the final one in 100 said I understand more than the ancients because I kept thy precepts I keep thy statue I keep thy laws I follow thy word Jesus Christ said, if you love me keep my commandment he said you are my friend if you do what I commanded you to do I tell you good friendship pays upon love and if you love God you will do what he commanded you to do he said I call you not my servant but my friend a servant know not what the master do it let's go to it to whom did Daniel give credit for the revelation of the dream and the interpretation? Daniel 2.28 But there is a God in heaven that revealeth secrets and make it known to the king Nebuchadnezzar what shall be in the latter days. Thy dream and the vision of thy head upon thy bed are these. Daniel 2.28 What was the purpose of this dream Daniel 2.29 said as for thee O king thy thought came unto thy mind upon thy bed what should come to pass hereafter and he that revealeth secrets make it known to thee what shall come to pass The o king says yes, he's explaining now what the king see in two in verse 31 of Daniel chapter 2 31 to 33 he said thou o king says yes, and behold that great image this image whose brightness was excellent stood before thee and the form thereof was terrible this image head was a fine gold his breast and his arm of silver his belly and his tie of brass his legs of iron his feet of part of iron and part of clay what does the head of the gold represent the word of God said thou O king thou art a king of kings for the God of heaven had given thee a kingdom power strength and glory and wheresoever the children of men dwell the beasts of the field and the fall of the heaven had he given into thine hand 
and had made thee ruler over them. Also art this head of gold. Daniel is explaining to the king and said, The head that you saw, head of gold, is your kingdom, your Babylonian kingdom. You have to understand things are getting dangerous round here. Wake up and change your folly ground. Babylon has been erect in defiance of God. The evidence is in Genesis 11, verse 1 to 9. Its government was an absolute monarchy. A man sat on the throne. Cruel to rule instead of love. No power was tolerated above the king. There was a union of church and state. Babylon was about 10 miles in circumference. The inner wall was about 12 feet thick. And the outer wall was about 22 feet. The outer fortification also had two walls. 24 and 26 feet thick respectively. Every 55 yard there were towers. 250 in all the excavation provided. No evidence relative to its height. Babylon walls on the stump remain right now. The highest is not more than 40 feet. You know that must be a wonderful place at the time. But God turned it into rumble. Babylon was found by Nimrod many centuries before Christ. It had become a mighty royal empire. 626 years before Christ. And was overthrown by the Medes and Persian and the Cyrus in 539 BC. How was the second universal kingdom represented in the image? Daniel 2.39 After thee shall arise another kingdom inferior to thee and another third kingdom of brass which shall be a rule over the earth. The breast and arm of silver represent the Medes and Persian verse 32 which conquered Babylon in 539 BC. This power reigned for 280 years. But her power was broken by Alexander the Great at the Battle of Abella in the year Chi Chi 1 BC. How was the third world power represented in the image? Daniel 2.39 said, And another third kingdom of brass, which shall be a rule over all the earth. Now, Grisha Falamida Persia as a world power. This empire ruled for 160, 163 years from 331 BC to 168 BC. How was the fourth universal kingdom picture? The word of God said in Daniel 240 and the fourth kingdom shall be strong as iron for as much as iron break it in pieces and subdue it all things. And as iron that break it, all things shall break in pieces and bruise. And bruise. Have a look at Daniel 2, 41 and 42. Here it is. Here it indicates that the Roman Empire was to be divided. Gibbon in his decline and fall of the Roman Empire names these division of the Roman Empire. Visigoths, which is Spain, Burgundians, Switzerland, Servai, Portugal, Vandals, Astogat, Herali, then you have the Franks, which is France, the Anglo Saxon, which is our own England, Lombard, which is Italy, Alemanni, which is Germany. Seven of these became the basis of the modern nation of Western Europe. The Herali, Vandal and the Astagat were completely rooted up by the liquor horn power of Daniel 7. This became obvious in the following reasoning. My question is, will there be another united Europe as the world power like the Roman Empire? 
can the European United or the European nation unite permanently under one head? I said, no. Go and read Daniel 2.43. The Bible said, And whereas thou sighs iron mixed with miry clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men, but they shall not cleave one to another. Even as iron is not mixed with miry clay. There have been many attempts to unite Europe. Men have tried to bring about another world power. So men like our Charles Magny, Charles V, Louis number 13, Napoleon, Caesar, Wilhelm, and Hitler, they all tried and failed. God said, they shall not cleave one to another. Daniel 2.43 Whose kingdom is destined to be victorious? The Bible says, and in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. And the kingdom shall not be left to another people. But it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms. And it shall stand forever. For as much as thou sawest that the stone was cut out of the mountain without hands. And that it break in pieces the iron, the brass, the clay, the silver, the gold. The great God had made known to the king what shall come to pass hereafter. And the dream is certain and the interpretation thereof is sure. Daniel 2, 44 and 45. Now, what is the meaning of the stone in this vision? That stone which smite the image of the feet represent the establishment of Jesus' kingdom. We are living in the days of the nation of Europe represented by the feet and toes of the great image. Jesus' kingdom will soon be a reality. Christ is prior. Thy kingdom come is about to be fulfilled. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come on earth. Nebuchadnezzar recognized what Daniel told him was the dream he had forgotten and which had troubled him. He fell upon his face and said, Of a truth, it is that your God, a God of all gods and a Lord of kings and a revealer of secrets, seeing thou couldest reveal the secrets. Daniel 2.47 Remember the dream is certain and the interpretation thereof is sure. Daniel 2.45 Beloved, we have nearly reached the end of human history. To be a part of Jesus' everlasting kingdom, a person must have Jesus in his heart. Jesus said, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. John 3 verse 3 let us plan now to be a part of God's eternal kingdom.